Lisa, and uh, welcome to today's English talk again. <laughs> yeah. So we, we have a special guest today, so it's a great honor. So I think all of you know um, Nandine already from uh, joining our class, but today is the special day because we have her here to um, talk a little bit about her research. Nandine is a visiting fellow at the moment at the University of Hilsheim at the Center for World Music. And um, she's uh, on a one-year fellowship from the Chinese government, uh, funded for um, the postdoctoral research. And she's coming from the Inner Mongolia University and will talk today a little bit about her research, what she did in her dissertation on the Venka traditional music, which would be the first part. And then the second part is um, about popular music in Inner Mongolia, because she used to be a pop musician herself, a singer herself, and she will also share your experiences with the music scene in Inner Mongolia, and also teach us maybe a little bit of singing. And then in the second part, we have you, both of you, prepared. A couple several of questions. several questions. Yeah. Okay, so then, yeah, welcome, Nandine, and we're looking forward to your talk. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm nervous. Yeah, my hand is cold, but I can feel the energy from all you guys. It's like hot energy, so I will be more relaxed now. <laughs> and uh, good afternoon. And uh, first, I want to express my thankfulness to my mentor, Mr. Fu, also my friend Yong Fei, who gave me this uh, chance to share my research, also my music to you guys. And I really want to thank you, my friend Pei Shan and Guangzhou, come to back on me. Yeah, thank you so much for the energy. Okay, so um, today I want to uh, like introduce my research search also some of my music if the time um, is okay for okay so uh, introduce myself um, um, I am a visiting scholar here but before that I was a teacher in I am a teacher in university consultor of music and before that is my PhD in China consultor of music and my major is uh, Chinese traditional music theory and before that is my master degree and my major is uh, sex singing and ear training also called sofaji but it's not exist here because all you guys are so good at the sofaji so this subject is not exist here and uh, before that uh, my bachelor degree is music education in Shenyang consultor of music and uh, okay, so it's when I was young, uh, um, when I was uh, four years old, I st started to study uh, piano with my mom. My mom, she's a piano teacher in university, and uh, my papa is uh, like also the teacher in university. But her his major is harmony of the comp composition department. Yeah, so both of my parents they are musicians, so they want me to be a pianist, but uh, the failed because I hate practicing piano. It's <laughs> <laughs> so boring. So yeah, I just like to sing. And this picture, yeah, I was a very beautiful traditional uh, dress with my grandma. Uh, I just finished a very important show in kindergarten. Yeah, I am the very important conductor for 20 kids <laughs> who didn't pay attention to me. I'm just like, conducting and they are like playing and maybe sing, I don't know, but I'm so succeed like that. And I'm so happy to, to hold a fake flower in my hand. And this is also my grandma. She's uh, also a teacher at university. She sing a folk song from Inner Mongolia. At that time, because I was so young, I don't want to stay in you know, a distance with my grandma, so I just ran to her. And after one minute, my friend, who is younger than me, is just a little baby, and running to me. So my grandma, she's singing, and I am on her side. And another girl is on, on my side, so my grandma, she cannot hold her love, start to laugh aloud. And she failed this uh, race because of me and the little girl. Yeah, and this is my grandpa, and, uh, and he's also a teacher, but for the politics, politics, yeah, and... Uh, I just want to show all my family here. I don't know why. Yeah, and uh, this is uh, the only luxury thing in my uh, house when I was young because at that time the salary for the teachers in university is really low, so we are poor. But the only luxury thing is the piano. It's a shining brown color piano. I have so many pictures with this piano. That's the start 
uh, of my music career. And now, okay, the part one, my research. Okay, so uh, I think that word, this uh, word for you guys is a little like strange because maybe you guys never heard about that. It's uh, one of the three, um, how do you say, small or lesser people ethnic groups in China, in Mongolia, and I am, I am also from this Dao ethnic group. And this picture, uh, she's my auntie. She's a really uh, farmer, also a nomad, also a classical, real uh, musician from the, the earth, not like the TV show or the stage, this kind of fake. She's real, and she also teach me folk songs. And for us, our people, you can see the number of the people is like, um, how to say, 132,000. So it's not so many. For, for Chinese people, it's really like small people. And we have our language, but I, I, I can only say a bad word because sometimes my father will say that to me when I was young, when I do something bad, he will say that to me. So I don't like speak a lot, I only say the bad word. But I will tell you this. And our script already lost. So we write in Chinese or Mongolian language, like the script, yes. And continue. A wink is uh, my PhD. I do research about this for five years. A wink is also one of the three minor uh, ethnic groups uh, in Mongolia. And this picture shows the Shibu tribe. They have three tribes. I already write here, like the Dao or Wunk and Owen Chu, as three lesser uh, ethnic groups. And the Shibu tribe is just a name, and the Sorun tribe and Tongs tribe. It's a reindeer. I draw it like a, the reindeer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is the, 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 the ox or cow, like in the yeah. And this is a mountain, and this is a agriculture, and this is uh, still the um, grassland thing. Yeah, just to help you to understand, maybe more confused. Okay, and uh, Owen people also very less people, like um, how is it? <coughs> Thirty-four thousand. Yeah. And uh, they also have the language, but the original script is also lost. So some people they use the Mongolia, some people they use Chinese to write. Okay, so come to the Shilu tribe. Shilu tribe live in the forest and uh, raise reindeer as the main way of production. And they also hunted. Before the hunting was forbidden by government, now the hunt is already like forbidden. You cannot have gun. But before they can, and Shilu Owen uh, was the last one who left the forest in three tribes. They are still like some part in the forest. Um, and they believe in shamanism. All living things have a spirit. I believe it too. And they have uh, ceremonies for the god of the mountain and the river and uh, like everything. And this picture is uh, 2017. I went to Genghe, and it's a like very huge forest garden. And this grandma, she's the last queen of the Shilu tribe, and uh, it's my first time to. I, I just I know her for a long time from TV from book, but that's that's my first time to face to her. I feel so nervous, and I want to ask her to sing a song for us, like the group. So I have to mean to her because I just, uh, I don't know how to show my respect, so I need to her. And later she sing. Uh, her name is Maria Su. Okay, Solun tribe, the second tribe, Solun. And the uh, Solun tribe also divided into um, three parts. And one is uh, for the forest, and one is agriculture, and the third one is grassland. And uh, also, according to this division, division method, I also divided their uh, traditional music into three parts, like the mountainous agriculture and the pastoral style, the grassland style. And the Tungus. Tungus tribe, they live in Chenfarku grassland. It's a name of a grassland uh, of Inner Mongolia. Because of the lifestyle, is so similar as Mongolia people. So, so many outsiders, they just misunderstood them as Mongolia people, but they don't like that. They just want to be seen as a wink. 
So there are reconstruction of the forest memory, such as um, some festivals or music storytelling and some like traditional folk songs like this. And this kind of hat is really a very typical uh, wink hat. Okay, let's uh, see a video. I'll talk about the uh, classify of Dao traditional music. They have the four styles, the folk song, dance song, storytelling while singing, and the shamanic music. And they have their own way to call them, like Zanda, Hakumai, Ochun, and Yagen Ir. And this uh, Zanda is just like um, song, generally, generally in the labor moment they will sing this or to express the mood of singing. And then Zanda divided to two categories of words and no words, like have lyrics and no lyrics. And in Zanda there is a very typical uh, liner calls called Nye Nye. And if you heard about this Nye 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 Nye, that's like that was song. And Hakumai, this is a form of sing and dance, has three parts. The first part is singing, singing. Second part is dancing, well singing, but dance is more important. And the third part is called Douquan, that means arm fighting game. It's like to dance partner face to face. And the left, left hand will be on the wrist, and the, the right hand will be like a hollow fist. And the smart is to the back head of the partners, like not really hit, just like uh, playing, yeah, playing. And then the third person will come to stop the, like, like no fighting, like that. And it's like kind of fun for the ceremony. Let's uh, watch a video about the Akumai. Okay, it's, uh, I video this in my auntie's house. And the one who played the soup is my second uncle. And uh, this is my first auntie and a second auntie and my auntie and uh, her daughter. Okay, a big family. <laughs>
the liner nodes and then the body rhythm they will happen at the same time or like one after another? Can you guys answer this question? It's like ha ha, or I would do this movement first, then I would call it ha, or I would call ha, then I would do this movement. What's this? Yeah, I think it was the same time. Yeah, yeah, good. And the second question is about the like when they do gahil, gahil, the body rhythm is more strong or tender. Tender, yes, and make the hum is like more strong or tender. Strong, yeah. I can tell you this gahu is copying the birds. It's more beautiful, and hum is bear, like I'm pretending I'm a bear and fighting. So the hum is strong, and the body rhythm is always at the same time with the liner note. So it like happen at the same time. So it means the sound of the liner notes are still like unified and the dance action and the liner words are happening at the same time as, as her told you guys and uh, also the rhythm and the dance uh, also the flow of the mood they are like unified too it's not like like two like two pages there at the same time okay then here is the I write it down on the, the score about this and my, my mentor music itself to do more field work and pay attention to the music itself. Like if I have questions, I I'd better to find it from the music itself because music can, can tell. And then yeah, that's uh you don't have to pay attention because the letter is so small, just the, some analysis like after I collecting all this songs, the dance, I need to like classify them and analyze them and uh, this one, maybe you guys can pay attention to this chord tones from Shuru, the note is La Do Re, La Do Re Mi and the uh, Sol Lun La Do, Do Re Mi So, Do Re Mi So La and the Tungus Do Re Mi So La Si So what happened? This one, la do re, la do re mi, la do re mi, and pay attention just to the third. Then, do re mi so, do re mi so la. Then this one, do re mi so la si. Can you guys tell me? This is like the Chinese traditional scale. Yeah, and the gong chang jiu jiu. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Right. And uh, what will change from? La do re to la do re mi so do re mi so la si to from three note to more or less more right okay like here only have la do re or la do re mi for shiru people they really like use three note or four four notes for the the song and they really like to repeat it again and again da 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 and for the like solun they already have more notes because they are moved from the forest to the agriculture agriculture part and they met some different ethnic groups for example Dawur or Man or Mongolia and for the Tungus people, they are live with Dawur, Owenke, Man, also Han people. So many ethnic groups are mixed together, so their culture are really like influenced to each other. So their way of thinking the music or the folk song is beautiful, like change, change from the environment change, also the people around change and the culture change. So it's the analyze. So here is some about my conclusion, but I will just jump out because I think it's too boring for you guys. But if you guys are interested about that, um, maybe you can uh, book my book. It's on the way. <laughs> it's haven't published yet, but will be one day. And maybe you guys can book a book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in Chinese, and it's good for you guys to learn Chinese. Because one day you guys will go to China. Yeah. So learn it before. Okay. And now we will work for one song together. Okay, um, it's my first time to, to the warm up 
our uh, Center for Music is really good at the warm-up stuff, but I am not, so I need all you guys' help. <coughs> First, we will um, sing one sentence, one sentence, okay? Sing after me, okay? <laughs> Oh, I think you guys need the sightseeing and your training class from me, okay? I will see you at the end. Oh, we will make that a whole sentence, okay? Okay, now we already know the lyrics, we'll sing again, okay? Just make the make it louder, why like so shy? Nay louder. Ready? Go! Then we'll make the sentence like have the sentence end of will fly up a little. We'll like this. Fly up. Fly up. Same. Okay, we'll try. Yeah, 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 yeah
给你有保持信仰，即使你现在的路很晚，那些人就只一瓶晚，那些没有信仰的一瓶晚，他们仍可能说你的梦想信仰的不够美丽。来说这征服着梦想的路，人生的道路是绝不认输。来说这征服着梦想的指引，就让我们通往那光明的路，一步一步，义无反顾，因为那就不到最后一处。我知道有一天一定会到达那些人，这属于自己的国度。But we don't have enough time to for all of them, and maybe you can find me from Spotify. But I'm not sure yet because my phone, my handy is from China. I cannot download the Spotify. But maybe, and uh, in fact, there are still more songs. But I don't think the time is enough. So I will pick one. Um, this song is right by one of my friend who is already killed himself in the U.S. He's a really good musician whose major is like the Mongolia heavy metal, and uh, he's a uh, band called Tengu Cavalry, Changshengtian, uh, mm -hmm. Tian, and his name is Zhang Tianran, natural Zhang, and uh, his really good friend always encouraged me about my music, so I want to show you guys the song from her. <laughs> Homeland song about homeland. Thank you. 
shoes that I write song for my cats. This is my <laughs> first cat, Rocky, and he's a very bossy one. And the second is Emily, it's a little princess. And the third one is Hamie, he's new. So the Rocky has song, Emily has song, not yet the Hamie, but I will write. He's a very cute one, like like little boy. And it's like high and thick. And uh, yeah, it's love with the heart. Okay. And uh, this is uh, like a really big step for my music career because I signed a company called the Universal Music Publishing Group. That means all my songs will be protected, no one can steal it. And this is also one of my friends called Jing Hong. She's always helped me about like the broadcasting like of my songs in Mongolia. And I have two EP like uh, 2022 to 2023, one called Gu uh, one called Huyage uh, is all the song from adaptation from the folk song from Dower and Ethnic uh, Ethnic Group. And if you guys are interested, you can go to my YouTube channel. And uh, I only have like six fans, and one is my mentor. So <laughs> if you guys can follow me, so I can have like sixteen. <laughs> yeah, like for all my songs. So <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> and so many people uh, help me, like uh, the the voice guider is my aunt. And uh, the chemical, uh, uh, not chemical, <laughs> academical, <laughs> academical <laughs> guidance, my papa, and uh, the people who give me money is my mom. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's songs, but I don't have any time. So, uh, what I want to say is, like, doing music. First, I need to show respect to everything, different culture, religion, everything, everyone, every animal, or the plants, everything. And second, always be like a kid, curious, and uh, always have a pure mind and a pure heart. And the third one is, uh, it's still my growing up dream is to make more and more people to heard about this song from the forest and grassland. And really thank you for your guys, you made my day because like all the grandma, grandpa from the forest and grassland, we're so happy, really happy because of you guys heard their song. And then I will show the important people in my life, my papa, my mama, and my Chinese mentor and his wife and my 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 mentor. And who did a lot to make me here be a visiting scholar. Without him, I cannot be here. So my mentor, yeah, very important to me. And, and the person who made the photo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 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 so also Kishan and Bongzhou, my family. Yeah, they, it's all my students uh, in Mongolia. Wish you guys can go to in Mongolia one day for me. Yeah, and uh, feeling that good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I didn't know about the last photo. <laughs> yeah, I just knew your surprise. <laughs> yeah, was really my surprise. So, um, yeah, we have another 30 minutes, and I guess yes. we, you have a lot of questions. But, uh, yeah, maybe you yeah. started the question, but I would also like to have some okay. space and open the discussion for, for more questions to come from this round here. Yeah.